So the mother of Beyonce's half-brother just exposed Beyonce for ignoring her half-brother and refusing to pursue a relationship with him. And, and, and I gotta be honest, it's gone be beyond betrayal. This is ridiculous. Like this is on borderline of, and not to be trite about this. Well, the internet is not in support of this behavior and Beyonce has come under fire for ignoring her half brother and refusing to be a good older sister to him. But is it really Beyonce's place to provide for him? And why has she vowed to never have anything to do with her brother? So she mad because Beyonce won't help take care of her son, aka Beyonce brother. So Beyonce is once again a trending topic on social media and this time she is getting dragged because people feel a type of way about her ignoring her half siblings and not giving them any type of help. Even though her half brother badly needs all the help that he can get because he has been struggling really bad. Now the topic of her half siblings is one topic that Beyonce does not like to talk about about and she has never acknowledged them. The major reason for this is that her dad, Matthew Knowles, fathered the children outside of his marriage to their mom, Tina Knowles, and this led to the breakdown of their marriage. But the thing is, the marriage already had lots of issues before this because there had always been rumors going around that Matthew had always been cheating on Tina. Word on the streets is that he was having lots of affairs with different women all at the same time, but he was always very careful not to get anyone pregnant. Well, his luck soon ran out and he ended up getting not just one woman, but two different women pregnant. One of his baby mamas is a woman named Takoya Branscombe, with which he has a daughter named Koi. Now, Koi does have an active lifestyle and from her Instagram page, it looks like she's an aspiring influencer. Now, Koi is the second child that was born from Matthew's affair, but we're going to get to the first child in a little bit. So, Koi has no relationship with Beyonce. She has never even met her and like I said Beyonce prefers to pretend like she doesn't exist. Sequoia revealed a couple of years ago that she badly wanted Beyonce and Koi to get to know each other but that was never going to happen. She said, they are half sisters and maybe one day down the line that can be made possible. However, if B and Solange have yet to meet their half brother, we don't think the second half child is the charm. But things weren't so bad for Koi because Takoya had enough money to take care of her. However, this wasn't the case for Matthew's older child, a boy named Nixon, because Nixon's mom, Alexandra, went broke not long after he was born. Things became super rough for them. She is now finally telling the story of how Matthew not only ruined her, but his entire family wanted nothing to do with her or her son. Now for a bit of backstory, Alexandra was the first woman that Matthew got pregnant before getting Koi's mom pregnant only a few months later. And this just goes to show that he was out here being wild. In a recent interview, Alexandra revealed that they met when Matthew was trying to negotiate deals for Beyonce as her manager. She said, I met him after I started working in PR for Microsoft in 2007. He wanted to do an overall entertainment deal for his daughter. He had a lot of bravado and he was very persistent. He said, I'm going to stay in Seattle until you agree to have a drink with me. And he stayed for two or three weeks until finally I said, fine. I was not conflicted about the situation because his marriage was not a functioning marriage. So it sounds like she fell for the oldest trick in the books when a married man lies about his marriage being over. This was a big fat lie because he and Tina stayed married until he fathered another child, Koi, outside the marriage, and Tina noped her way out of that marriage. Also, Alexandra's affair with Matthew lasted for two years before she got pregnant, so if he was really going to leave Tina, he definitely would've did it. But anywho, not long after Alexandra told Matthew that she was pregnant, he found out that he was being audited by Beyonce because she suspected that he was stealing money from her. Now, we all know how that case ended because she ended up firing him for stealing from her, and this was the turning point in his relationship with Alexandra because he completely changed. She said, we had joint credit cards and bank accounts and after the audit started, he just cut them off. I left him and he didn't even expect me to make the choice. I ended it because I'm better than that. So Matthew's money was drying up and Alexandra decided to take a walk. But then Matthew made his move when he tried to deny that he was the father of her baby. Now it seems like it's Matthew's MO to deny paternity of his love children because that's the same thing that he did to Koi's mom when she told him that she was pregnant. When you told Matthew Knowles that you were pregnant with his child, how did he react? 
uh, very much. Well, you can't get pregnant by me. <laughs> You know, it can't be my child. You can't deny it once DNA test comes out 99.9% that you are the father. Well, Alexandra also took a DNA test that proved that he was the father. She gave birth to their son Nixon, but Matthew was uninterested in stepping up and being a father. Alexandra claimed that she spent more than $250,000 in legal fees trying to get him to take responsibility for their son and pay child support. It got so bad that she got evicted from her apartment back in 2014, and pictures of her crying on the streets quickly went viral. She was lucky enough to get support from a homeless support group who helped her get accommodation in a trailer park. A homeless support group arranged for the trailer so Alexandra wouldn't be out on the street after she was forced to go on public assistance. I'm in the middle of the fight for my son's rights. I got over a thousand death threats last week alone. She also opened up about how she felt betrayed by Matthew. Do you feel betrayed by Matthew? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely something. But, and, and, and I gotta be honest, it's gone be, beyond betrayal. This is ridiculous. Like, this is on borderline of, and not to be trite about this, this is disgusting. Now, while things have gotten a little bit better for her over the years, her circumstances haven't improved a lot. And in one recent interview with The Sun, she opened up about how Beyonce has never reached out to meet her son Nixon and how badly this has been affecting the boy. She revealed that they live only 10 miles away from Beyonce's new $200 million mansion, but this has done nothing to improve their relationship. She said, Beyonce is a billionaire and just bought the most expensive house in California, 10 miles from where we live. But no, there has not been any contact. The pain still needs to heal. My main concern has been dealing with a child that asks, why doesn't that person love me? I sit in the bathroom and cry sometimes because I just don't know how to help him be his own person. She also revealed that people at Nixon school would often ask him about Beyonce and if she's truly his sister. And Alexandra claimed that this only made the boy feel even more pain. Now I understand how the boy feels because he is innocent and shouldn't be made to suffer the circumstances beyond his control. But Alexandra did make it clear that she had no expectations from Beyonce and wasn't expecting handouts. But Beyonce still came under a whole lot of fire for not helping her brother out, even though things were bad for him and he was even homeless at some point. People felt like she's a millionaire, so it's not like she was too broke to do something. But this is not the first time that Beyonce has been called out for this, because people have always talked about how weird it is that she doesn't acknowledge her half siblings. Last year, rapper Azalea Banks brought up the topic saying, can we get an update on Koi Nose? You know your little sister you think we forgot about? This French coffee knee-high white orthopedic wallaby communion place Sunday school Baptist cornbread wig jig is up, B. When do the blue ivy and Koi Nose photos drop? So yeah, this is not a new topic, but Alexandra's interview started a discussion online that got people talking. A lot of people blast to Beyonce and left comments saying, my heart goes out to the babies. They have two famous half sisters. Of course, they are going to want to meet them. It's a part of their bloodline. The children shouldn't be punished for the dad's mistakes. And she's wrong, period. Those children are still her family, period. I don't think it's because she has money that they're reaching out, but I do think they desire a relationship with her. But on the other hand, there are people who feel like Beyonce doesn't owe her half siblings anything. And they said, I get the baby's point of view. They are innocent, but Beyonce and Solange are not obligated to really do anything in my opinion. And Beyonce is still not responsible for her dad's horrible behavior. When are they going to stop blaming everything on Beyonce. So what do y'all think about this? Do you think that Beyonce should reach out and help her half-brother? Or do you think that that's none of her business? Let me know what you think about this messy situation in the comments. And then check out this next video.